The Gorod Krovi Easter Egg may seem impossibly difficult, but with the strategy in this video, you should be able to get yourself to completion. This video is geared more to a solo player, but a lot of this still applies to co-op games. In the pregame, you get to pick your gobble guns. If you want to run any fancy megas, Immolation and Idolize will be very useful. Shopping free perkaholic and near-death experience can also help, but this guide won't recognize them going forward. The classic gobble gun set that I run for 90% of my games on BO3 consists of Alchemical, Danger Closest, In Plain Sight, Anywhere But Here, and Stock Option. The only one that is absolutely crucial to have is In Plain Sight. Now into the game. As you spawn in, spend two rounds in the starting room. Shoot each zombie in the leg seven times on round one, and eight times on round two. With any luck, you should be leaving the starting room at the end of round two with enough money to open all the way up to the power switch. Once you have the power switch on, the code cylinders can start dropping. Before the first graph module, make sure to build the shield as it is extremely helpful. While opening up the map, make sure to try and find which valve location has the master code cylinder lodged in it. After the first module, give the box a couple of spins to get a weapon to continue the modules with, as well as to get the Mark III. The Mark III will be a crucial weapon for this easter egg. Luckily it does seem to have priority in the box and usually comes up before the box moves. The round you complete the third Groff module, head to the hatchery from Dragon Command and grab the egg. Get it bathed in fire, then progress two rounds. In those two rounds, get Up and Atoms, Tough Enough, <coughs> sorry, get Quick Revive, Jug, and the Mark III. At the beginning of the round, you pick up the egg. Head to Tank Factory and summon the dragon. Train zombies down by the valve location there. When the fire dragon comes, run the zombies up the ramp and shield blast into the now on fire horde. Make sure your egg progresses and you have at least 1,000 points before jumping on the dragon. Take the dragon to the hatchery and start the lockdown. The mangler helmet is good to bring into the boss fight, so make sure to aim for the helmets and arms of the manglers here. Primarily use the Mark III to dispatch the invading zombies. If it ever gets too hectic, you can run upstairs into the safety corner where the Mark III will fully protect you. The safety corner is where I recommend staying for the entire fourth wave. Whenever the top window is open, jump on the turret and kill a bunch of zombies. The turret all counts as one bullet, so this works to complete the penetrating multi-kills for your egg. When you see that you got enough kills, hop off the turret and wait for a few zombies to start breaking in before shield blasting as many as you can to progress your melee kills. You should easily be able to have your egg ready for its lockdown during this lockdown. When the lockdown finishes, grab your Dragon Strike controller and the max ammo, head to the basement and start the lockdown. Make sure that a drone turns on the generator for you. When this lockdown ends, head right back to the mainland. Now you need to find the green light valve and get the master cylinder. I recommend opening the door between 3rd floor department store and armory as to keep the door to infirmary closed, and make the drone escort easier. During the two rounds of waiting for the gauntlet, make sure to get the rest of the trophies. After those two rounds, head to the hatchery via the Dragon at Supply Depot. Before you start your challenges, make sure to get your Mark III pack a punched. Now let's go one by one through the challenges, starting with the oh so feared bomb step. Keep a pad of paper or a whiteboard around you, and have it ready with a rough outline of the map. If you're on solo, pause buffer and you should easily see your code every time. On co-op, some people take a video with their phone and rewind it back, but I usually just draw the numbers in on the outline that was already prepped. What is really important about this step is knowing how to salvage it. If you know you won't have enough time to hit them all, get yourself and your team into one of the safe zones. To note a few, the bunker, the hatchery, down the stairs from Dragon Command, and spawn. Being able to act upon that knowledge can save runs. Now for Gersh. He can only be damaged by a pack-a-punch weapon. The Mark III does crazy damage here. Nearing the end of his dialogue, spam your right gun at him, and sometimes you can get a second or even third phase out of him for free. Pretty easy challenge. And on to Mangler. Once you see that it's the Mangler challenge, immediately turn your camera 90 degrees to the left. This will allow you to hear the sound of a mangler spawning either on your left or your right. This will tell you if you want to head to Tank Factory or your Supply Depot. He is never too tricky if he comes from Tank, but sometimes he runs really fast to the box location in Armory if he comes from Supply. If you couldn't find him at a quick glance, he probably went that way. It is also a good thing to know that he generally heads for Department Store if left unattended. If you shoot off his cannon arm, he'll go at a much faster pace. This is easier to do without the mangler helmet, so don't pick up the helmet until after this challenge. It may also help you know that you can shoot him all you want after he gets to his destination, so using the Mark III to protect yourself at that point is not dangerous to the mission. As for the drone escort, make sure you have a door on the third floor open so the drone has a path to go. Right at the beginning of the escort is the hardest part. 
Use your right Mark III to kill zombies attacking you while pushing the drone as much as you can. Once you get to about where you put the egg down the first time, start using the left Mark III to pause the zombies behind you. This will both keep them in a clump and keep them from bothering you. Keep sending those shots as you push the drone. It may be tempting to use your Dragon Strike here, but it has a really good chance of breaking your drone, so don't. When you're up to the third floor department store, pick up the Dragon Wings. This will allow you to teleport to the hatchery instantly instead of having to watch the dragon cutscene. The last little tip I can provide for the drone is that you can kill him early and he just kind of teleports to where he needs to go, completing the challenge. As long as he's on that final staircase up to Dragon Command, you are good to shoot him. The Groff module step is rarely the hardest, but it can be really frustrating. Sometimes you get a good location and the zombies move really close to the module before hitting it and the Mark III alone is more than enough to handle it, but other times they like to show off their telekinetic skills. In those cases, look for bottlenecks in their pathing to the module and send a black hole there. Though the aiming is a little wonky, you can use the right Mark III to some success to pick off some of the stragglers. I also suggest you use your Dragon Strike during this step, as it can distract all the zombies from the module. The Mangler Lockdown is the last challenge and probably the easiest. Unsurprisingly, there's an easy way to make it even easier. Pick up the keycard and use your Dragon Wings on the post and Dragon Command to get there instantly. Plug the keycard in and start the lockdown. The lockdown is on a timer, not based on wave progress. Simply keep one mangler from the first round and run him around until the bar is full. You'll want to kill him right as the timer finishes and grab the keycard. Don't forget the max ammo the lockdown graciously gave you. Before going into the boss fight, grab the mangler helmet and make sure you have either in plain sight or idle eyes, as they are extremely important for the Nikolai fight. Also make 100% sure that you have quick revive if you are on solo. Not only for the obvious purpose of it, but for some reason without it, Nikolai can step on you and kill you during the dragon fight. A freaking weird glitch, but luckily very avoidable. Even if you did use up all your quick revive uses, you can spin the Wonder Fizz until you get it again. To start the fight, press the button in the middle of the arena. The dragon fight is very easy and shouldn't give you much trouble. Just hold your shield out whenever the dragon breathes fire and shoot your blast if you ever feel danger. When you have to damage him, just fire a Mark III black hole where you're standing to protect yourself and blast the weak spot with your right Mark III. If your shield somehow happens to break, just stick to the trenches in one corner of the arena and use the Mark III to keep yourself safe. Once the dragon is dead, you can give yourself a pat on the back during the little cutscene. From here on out, you should not be able to mess anything up. After the cutscene ends, find Nikolai and activate your in plain sight slash idolize gobblegum. Nikolai will completely stop moving. All you gotta do is shoot his weak points and his easter egg is yours. Normally you have to wait for him to pull out the power cores on his shoulder, but you can just shoot straight through the metal with the Mark III. Congratulations, you beat it. I hope at least something in this video helps you with this easter egg. It is by far the most daunting easter egg as you start playing it. A big thanks to the Salty Clicker and SuperGoat420 for helping to make this video. I'm now going to hold myself to an upload schedule Wednesdays and Sundays. Consider subscribing. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.